to affect is the brain more than anything else. Sort of shuts the brain down, takes away the senses. To your question, that's why he doesn't really feel anything. But it really sort of starts to put the whole body to sleep, including the heart. Your breathing slows down. He really is kind of asleep, unaware of everything. The next medication is very critical. It's called pancaronium bromide. Remember, this is a paralytic medication. Very critical to be given as a second medication. This is also given through an IV, so you know an IV has to be placed. And then this, this medication is a paralytic. It paralyzes all the muscles, Virginia, including the diaphragm. And that's critical because a diaphragm is what you use to breathe. So he essentially won't be able to breathe on his own anymore after this medication is given. But look, the heart, the heart is still beating with this particular medication. Finally, the last medication is something known as potassium chloride. You know, we've all heard of potassium. But one thing that many people may not know is in really high doses when it's given again through the IV is that it causes an abnormal reaction in the heart. The heart simply can't conduct electricity the way it normally does. Take a look there. The heart starts to quiver, and that's probably what leads to the death, ultimately. The heart simply can't be more.